CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.6 Compare and Contrast Common Network Configuration Concepts DNS Records In this video, we will be taking a closer look at Domain Name Servers, or Name Servers for short. For IT professionals, understanding the operation and significance of DNS servers is fundamental. These servers not only facilitate the basic function of connecting users to web servers, email servers, or other online resources, but also play a key role in network security and efficiency. Named servers can be configured to block access to malicious sites, redirect traffic for load balancing, and even implement custom domain name rules within private networks. So how do these named servers work? Well, simply put, they house a database of DNS records. A DNS record is a database entry on a domain name server that links a domain name to various types of information. These records are stored in the server's database and play a critical role in controlling the behavior of internet traffic. They contain instructions on how to route requests for a domain, including IP addresses, mail server configurations, and other essential data. One of the most common types of DNS records is the AD record, also known as an address record. An AE record maps a fully qualified domain name directly to its corresponding IPv4 address, which is the standard protocol for the majority of internet traffic. For example, when you enter a website URL into your browser, the DNS lookup process takes the FQBN and sets out to find the AE record to resolve the domain name to its IPv4 address, guiding your request to the correct web server. Up next, we have Quad A records. These records perform a function very similar to A records, but are used to map a fully qualified domain name directly to its corresponding IPv6 address, which is the newer internet protocol designed to eventually replace IPv4. Quad A records ensure that domains can be resolved and connected over the IPv6 infrastructure, future-proofing the internet's expansion. Moving on, we have the MX record or mail exchange record. These records are vital for email functionality, directing where emails that are sent to your domain should be delivered. Each MX record maps an email domain to an FQBN of a mail server and is accompanied by a priority set. This priority setting allows for a primary, secondary, and further backup mail servers to ensure email delivery even if one server goes down. TXT records are versatile DNS records that contain text-based application-specified values. They're often used for verifying domain ownership. Additionally, TXT records are crucial for implementing various security measures, which brings us to our next point. In the context of spam management, three significant TXT records come into play, DKIM, SBF, and DMAR. DKIM or Domain Keys Identified Mail verifies the sender's domain and ensures that the emails have not been tampered with in transit. SPF or Sender Policy Framework specifies which mail servers are authorized to send emails on behalf of your domain, preventing email spoofing. Lastly, DMARC, which stands for Domain Based Message Authentication, Reporting, and Conformance builds upon DKIM and SPF, providing instructions on how to handle emails that fail DKIM and SPF checks, thus enhancing email security and integrity. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.